uh, I would say a, a, an abrupt ending to bond purchases, I think it's unlikely. The, um, on the first question, see, it's in a sense, why, why are we uh, waiting for December? Because we want to see all the inputs that are useful to, uh, to have this discussion. Uh, that, uh, to, and that's important for having one view about which the governing council members can express their opinion. Right now we have options. And so it's, we, didn't, uh, we didn't, in other words, to be, to be more precise, um, we didn't go at all in the exercise of counting views or majorities or not. Thank you. Ms. Mastroboni. Yes, Mr. Draghi, uh, Tonya Mastrobuoni, La Repubblica. Uh, my question is about negative rates because uh, some central bankers have become have expressed concerns on the on the in the last days on the effects of uh, negative rates on the lending of some banks. So um, I wondered if you talked about it today in the governing council or if uh, there is some uh, outcomes already on the effects of negative rates. Thanks. Now, first, we briefly uh, touched upon negative rates uh, or negative rates, or low rates more generally during the discussion we had about the current outlook. And uh, the conclusion was that they don't hinder the, uh, our, the transmission of our monetary policy. We have no evidence they actually hinder the transmission of our monetary policy. In other words, uh, low rates work. They have worked like they've worked in other policy jurisdictions. And uh, we're not the first to have low rates. 